Updating software is a fact of life, so we should have some confidence in the process. With regard to PTE AV Studio, we currently are working with version 10.5.8. How do we know that? If we go to the help menu at the top left of the screen and we choose about PTE AV Studio, the panel that appears will tell us. A software update, which is sometimes called a patch, is not quite the same as a software upgrade. If we go into that help menu once again, we'll see we've got two options here. Check for a new version of the software, but we can also check for free updates. But in actual fact, unless you've changed something in the settings, if we go to the settings, by default, the software should be checking for you. And we have a little box here in the main tab. Updates to PTE AV Studio will overwrite your already installed current installation. And you won't need the product key which you needed when you first installed it. The key that's already installed is going to work fine with the update. An upgrade to the software is different than an update because that generally includes many new features and major improvements to others. That's not going to overwrite the current program when it's installed. It will install as a completely separate version. An upgrade may also involve some cost for the added features that have taken months or even years to develop. Now, going back to updates to our existing software for a moment, when those auto updates are turned on in the settings, which as I've said previously, they are by default, you will be notified of any updates and possibly upgrades too. For updates, just follow the on-screen instructions. They are very straightforward. Now at some stage during 2022, we are very likely to be updating PTE AV Studio 10 to version 11. And if that's the case, then we will require a different product key. And as I've already said, that may involve a small cost. Now while we're on the subject of your product key, if you needed your product key right now, perhaps because you've just purchased a new computer and you want to reinstall the software again, could you locate that product key quickly and easily? Perhaps your product key is sitting in an email on the PC or laptop that has just crashed and you have no access to it. It's rather like having only one door key to your house. It's never a problem till you lose the original. Now there's a massive panic where you're dependent on others to get you out of trouble. So before this happens to you, you should locate your PTE AV Studio product key, license, call it what you will, and keep it in a secure place off your computer. Print it out if you have to, but keep it safe and easily accessible. So an update adjusts the software you already have installed on your computer. An upgrade is installing the latest and improved version of the software. That will generally require a different product key and maybe some cost. PTE AV Studio can be found here. Now, when you click on the free trial button, the download window will open. And as you can see, there's an option for both Windows and Mac versions. Now this download, although it's labeled as a trial, is in fact the full latest version. It's the entering of a license key that determines whether you have the standard or the pro version. Now, as you can see on this window, there are opportunities to upgrade 
and we can also compare additions. And by additions, I mean the difference between the standard version of PTE AV Studio and the Pro version. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and give the video a thumbs up if you feel it warrants it. Don't forget that notification bell too, because that will inform you whenever I post a new five minute video. I'll see you next time.